So quite a few people in the comment section have said that their VM22 carburetor won't idle unless the choke's on or it idles really high all the time. No matter what they do with the mixer screw or the slide screw, it doesn't make a difference. So they say they adjust the slide screw and it doesn't do anything at all. Or they go up under here to the mixture screw and it doesn't do anything. Or the choke has to be on for it to run. You have to richen up the mixture because it's getting so much air. So a lot of times what I found is the leak is usually between the manifold and the carburetor on the O-ring. A lot of times people get those out of adjustment or out of alignment. And no matter what you do, no matter how you adjust it, no matter what jet you use, it just won't run right. And no matter how much you try to tune it, So this carb here is totally out of alignment. So when I fire it up, it idles super high. All right, let's fire this up and you'll see, I can adjust the slide screw, the fuel screw. It doesn't matter what I do. It'll still idle high no matter what. Okay, so no matter what I do with the slide screw or the fuel screw under here, it won't idle right. Even if I have the choke on, I turn the choke on, idle super high, turn the choke off, it'll just die no matter what I do because it's running super lean and you gotta have a lot of extra fuel. So you gotta keep the choke on to keep it running. So the carb looks fine out here. I mean, nothing looks wrong. So there's slides on the manifold so you can turn the carb from one side to the other, depending if the engine's at an angle or not, depending on the motor mount or whatever it's mounted on. So I'll show you what I found that most of the time causes this problem where you just can't adjust this carb no matter what you do. So I'll pull the carb off of here. So everything on the outside looks fine. Looks like it's in alignment out here. But if you look down the manifold on this, you'll see that the carburetor on the bottom down there is totally out of alignment with the O-ring on the carburetor. So the manifold's not matching up to the carburetor properly. And it's creating a vacuum leak or air leak, making the thing run super lean. Then you have to have the choke on all the time or it idles super high. So let me loosen this manifold up on this carburetor a little bit so we can slide it. Okay, so now I'm gonna adjust that manifold to line it up properly. So you turn that manifold until it's lined up on that O-ring to where it's even all the way around. It's not off to one side. So it looks like right now the O-ring will totally seal. So you just tighten it up right there. So let me tighten her up right here, right where the manifold's even all the way around on that O-ring. Okay, make sure I got it even still because sometimes they move when you try to tighten them. Okay, looks pretty even all the way around. Looks like it's sealing up on that O-ring. So we'll see if that makes a difference on it being able to idle or being able to actually adjust the carb. Bolt this back on here. Get the gasket on here right. That's another one too. You gotta make sure you get that gasket on the right way. You don't wanna cause a leak that way. If you have the gasket on backwards, Tighten her down on here. So it looks the same on the outside. I mean, it looks like it's in alignment, but it's really, like I said, hard to tell. Okay, let's fire this thing up and we'll see if it runs any different now without any leaks. And I'll see if it's actually adjustable. up with 
the slide. Goes back down. We back it off. So totally adjustable now. Choke works. Just killed it when I choked it. When I adjust the slide, it goes up and down like it's supposed to. So everything's sealed up nice. Let me fire it up again. I just choked it, so. So just with that little manifold adjustment where the manifold is in line with the carburetor on the o-ring made a world of difference now you can totally adjust it you can adjust the slide the choke actually works has great throttle response but if you don't get that alignment right between the manifold and the carb the carb will not be adjustable no matter what 